But as it stands, it's seven points from three games for Nigeria, with the Austin Evervoin led boys heading on to the away match against Libya come October 15. But Aaron, that match saw the uh, Super Eagles players get frustrated at some point with um, the delay at Antics by this Libyan side. But what's the overall assessment of this match? Um, it's called the dark arts of football. Time wasted, trying to frustrate the opponent, getting under the skin of the opponent. When you look at how things have actually played out in today's encounter, the coach will have to put that into cognizance when he's preparing for the next game. Because a goal would have just swept away all those dark arts we're talking about. Because if the Libyans had to chase the game, then they will know that any kind of delay, any kind of stoppage will be at their own disadvantage. But the fact that they were able to keep it scoreless for majority of the game meant that the Super Eagles had to chase the game, chase the game, and it was it played into their hands and they ended up frustrating us. But kudos to Dele Bashir. Once again, it's becoming um, a trend that he gets crucial goals for the Super Eagles of Nigeria. And I'm happy that the coach brought him in when he did. The truth is this. The reason why this game was frustrating, maybe, I think it got his selection very, very wrong and the tactics even, even worse. And you know, what should have been different? Looking at it, first of all, you're playing a Libyan side that do not have back and bite, literally because of the kind of players they possess. Why are you paying a defensive pivot of Rafael and Wilfred Oye in the day? Uh, um, the, I, think, I know a lot of Nigerians expect to see a 3-0 scoreline or 5-0 scoreline and knowing the kind of players Nigerians have in their arsenal. Um, but luckily for the Spiders of Nigeria, they made it five wins out of five appearances for Libya and ensuring that Libya did not get a draw against them. But what we also take note of the fact is that I think Elston Evervoy would have it in mind that the last time he had a really bad game with Nigeria was against Tunisia. And when Tunisia had taken the lead earlier on, they locked up shop. Aaron. They did that and they continued with this same delayed tactics. And and I'm also I think looking at the way the play went, the players kept on pushing. Even at the point they knew that it seemed there was no hope. We had Ademola Lukman always disturbing that uh, uh, defense. There was also Bruno who was able to move the ball forward. Moses Simon had his down and out times, but he was also he also uh, persevered in this particular game. But what I want to see different against Libya, like you rightfully said, is to just start the game with two strikers. And, and I think we should just be happy because the stadium erupted into joy. When the first goal was cancelled as offside, when the, when the goal was scored, Dele Bashir, it was a scene of joy. So I think that's what when Nigerians want to see when they face off in Libya. All right, as we try to wrap up this particular discussion, we know that um, we should be able to beat Libya when we travel to their home ground. But my own question is this. Has Egravon so far convinced you that he is the man to take up the reins of the Super Eagles? Well, one thing I will always say about football in Africa is that most times is how you're able to get a victory, whether hard fought or not. Because another coach, I wouldn't want to, another coach could have drawn this game, Aaron. The substitution, it also showed that he was attentive to the game because the substitution mattered. When he brought in Dele Bashiru, when he brought in Samuel Chukweze, the, the game changed, the tempo of the game changed. I, I think we should just enjoy us that they got this way because it would have been Seriously bad. Mm. It should not you have drawn this. Game. <laughs> but seven points from three games, everyone. All right, not bad at all. You can actually say that 
They're telling us our time is actually up here at the stadium. The lights are already going out. The fans are beginning to disperse. Some are still here, still hoping to get a glimpse of the Super Eagles. Let's hope on the 15th that the Super Eagles do put in a better shift than they did today here at the Gospel Aquabi International Stadium. We're still looking good, by the way, Bene 1-3-0. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see what happens for Nigeria reporting here from the Gosla Fabio Stadium on ABE. I'm Irona Kirijala.